Wow. It's wild seeing your whole life in front of you. I want to thank you, Sherry. I mean, you are, you are an exceptional person. You're an exceptional person, and you've had a tremendous impact on my career and my life, and I love you dearly. I love you. Thank you. In 1980, Sherry became the first woman to ever head a major studio as 20th Century Fox. Amazing. And I was, I was 18 when I was cast in Taps, a Fox film. That's when I first met her. It was a seminal uh, moment. You know, my whole life, I, uh, I wanted to make movies. I wanted to travel the world. I wanted adventure. As a kid, I'd create characters. You know, I wrote stories to entertain my family and friends. And uh, I always had jobs since I was a little kid, about seven, eight years old. And I would, I would use that money to go to the movies. You know, I'd always I'd watch movies on TV. I'd, you know, watch old movies on TV. But I would always go to the movies whenever I could. And uh, when I didn't have the money, I figured out a way to sneak in or get someone else to take me, you know? So anyway, there I was. I was 18 years old in Valley Forge, Pennsylvania. And I wasn't watching a movie. I was on a set making one. And I have to say, it was, it was quite surreal. Um, Taps was produced by Stanley Jaffe, who had just won the Oscar for Kramer vs. Kramer. It was directed by Harold Becker of The Onion Field. It starred Timothy Hutton, who had just won the Oscar for Ordinary People, and another brilliant young actor making his film debut, Sean Penn. So these were, yeah, these were undeniable talents. And Stanley and Harold did an amazing thing, and I didn't know enough about film at that time to know how unusual it was. I mean, they set up weeks of rehearsal before filming. You know, and there, there was a writer there, and I had military training and rifle corps training, and they pointed us in the direction of research. And this opened the door for me to investigate every aspect of film production. So I was, I was able to watch these wonderful, these, these brilliant actors work and develop their characters. And I was given the freedom to develop mine and the freedom to explore every aspect of production. And I had Stanley Jaffe and Harold Becker and an A-plus crew imparting decades of wisdom. You know, there's uh, such as legendary cinematographer Owen Roizen, dis Owen Roizman, uh, discussing lenses with me, you know, film speed, light, you know, why he was using this, why he was using that, and there was wardrobe, hair, makeup, special effects, set dressing, there was a stunt department. Now, I had no idea that stunts was even a department, so. And I was, uh, I was able to watch my first rushes. Uh, I was able to go to every department and learn what each department did, what each job entailed. And I was able to explore everything from the beginning to the end of a film production. And I have to say, I was, I was absolutely uh, amazed by the craftsmanship and also the tremendous efforts that it took to make a film. And I was also, I was, I was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed by what I didn't know. I mean, here was this moment, something that I had dreamed of, my life's passion, it was cinematic storytelling. And the door was opening and I didn't, want, I didn't want it to close. I mean, this is something that I was absolutely certain that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And I thought, I will never, ever take this for granted. I thought, how do I become competent at this? How am I going to figure out all of these tools of this art form, tell the stories, tell, tell the stories that I want to tell, affect an audience? So when TAPS uh, completed, uh, Sean invited me out to LA, and they were gracious enough to you know, his family, I stayed at his family's house for a bit. And I went out and I was interviewing agents and that's where I met Paula Wagner. And she represented me for many years and later became my producing partner. And I want to thank Paula Wagner. I love you. I love you, Paula, for your friendship and for your partnership. You know, I was later represented. You handed me off to your husband, Rick Nasita. Kept it in the family. I want to thank you. And I also want to thank Kevin Uvain, who's here. Now, Uvain, I've known you for over 30 years. We've been together. Maha Dekeel, Joe Lubin. You know, thank you. Matt Gelser, and of course, the legendary, late, great Burt Fields. 
And um, I'm grateful to you and all of CAA because when I, when I hired Paula, see, I had these dreams. I had these goals, very goal-oriented, you know. <laughs> and I had filmmakers and writers and producers and just people within our industry that I, I wanted to talk to, I wanted to interview. And I, I think maybe after I interviewed them, they felt more like it was an interrogation. But I, but I wanted to understand what storytelling was to them. And, and you facilitated this brilliantly, feeding my passion, encouraging it. And I always thought that, uh, you know, if I could make movies, you know, if I could be competent at this, and if the movies made their money back and then some, everyone would get their Christmas bonuses and I'd be able to go out and I could make some more movies. And possibly, you know, I'd create the opportunities for other filmmakers to do the same. So I am, uh, I'm, I'm indebted to a great number of industry legends who had the patience to hear and answer the thousands upon thousands of questions and for no reason other than their love of the craft that is cinema they unselfishly shared these lessons and their hard-earned trade secrets all of the accumulated knowledge learned by them over their illustrious careers and all of them with a different personal viewpoint of cinema the essence of film and the intangible meaning of art itself and they enabled me to come up with my own ideas and concepts of what I felt worked and what storytelling was to me. And Jerry Bruckheimer, you are... You are an extraordinary producer. And you and Don, you opened the door for me and you welcomed me in and I am very grateful forever. Thank you, my dear friend. I know Steven Spielberg, you know, that I've, I've known him since I was a kid and I'd spent many hours in his home at his table talking about movies. It was a pleasure to work with him on set and I'm, I'm very proud of the films that we were able to make together. And it was actually at his dinner table that I met Brian De Palma and I went home and I stayed up that night, all night, into the next day and I was reviewing all of De Palma's films. And I called Paula and I called Sherry. Remember that the next day? And uh, later we offered him Mission Impossible. And he was the first director of the first film uh, that we ever produced. And I want to thank the studios, all of them, each one of you for teaching me what it is that you do and distribution the same. And everyone, you've all, you've all enabled me the adventurous life that I wanted and I've been able to travel the world and work and watch films in so many countries to share in their cultures and realize how much, how much we all have in common and to admire our differences. And now here I am and here we are all these years later and my dear friend is presenting me with this lovely award. You know, so thank you PGA and thank you, thank you Donald Thank you, Stephanie Ryan, for creating this moment for me. And thank you, Amanda Lumberg. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. And I absolutely must uh, acknowledge my dear friend and collaborator for the past 16 years, Christopher McQuarrie, an exceptional, exceptional artist. And I want to thank all the audiences for whom I serve first and foremost for allowing me to entertain you. And I promise I'll always do everything, everything I can to accomplish that goal. And I want to say congratulations to everyone in this room. And not just for winning or being nominated, but for creating. And I like to see people do well. And I've been around a while, I know what it takes to do what you do. And I know that things don't just happen. It's not just luck. You, uh, you, know, you have to create that luck, you have to will it into existence, and I want you to know that I am always rooting for you, I'm rooting for all of you. The better you do in life and in your work, the better every studio does, the better every film does, the better we all do, the better it is for everyone. So I look forward to seeing what you create in the future, and I will continue to do all that I can to contribute and help this industry and this art form that I love. And I just got back from filming in South Africa. That's an absolutely stunning country.
country. And there is a beautiful philosophy. It's Ubuntu that originated there. And it is the idea that humanity is based on the plural, not the singular. And Ubuntu means essentially, I am, because we are. And so I thank, I thank all of you. And I am, because you are. Thank you.